All right, guys, so I'm hanging in the back here on live on TikTok, showing them my new hatches. This is my first battle cross. They're, uh, they're Bama Sport Decox Roundhead over a yellow leg hatch hen, and she hatched 10 of 10. 10 of 10, man. Um, yeah, this is how it's I'm going. not an angel, but she's a demon. She took my heart and soul and left me screaming. All right, guys, so my phone died mid live, and I'm about to build this coop thing with freaking Billy. Billy the goat. I don't even have a plan. I just have an idea in my head. An idea is just an idea unless acted upon. We're doing what we gotta do to get this little coop pen thing made. I don't even know if I'm on. Honestly, hopefully this works out. At least we're trying our best. That's all that matters. Spaghetti. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Hell yeah. Oh shit, I'm still recording. This is what we have so far. Um, I'm using this wood right here, kind of just using to block in the pine shavings and stuff. So when I load up with pine shavings, and I'll probably throw in that, that roof over there on top. I'm debating if I should stock a third one. It's gonna be kind of high, so I don't know if I wanna put a third one on top. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right guys, so check this out. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys probably see me live on TikTok um, building this little coop or pen or whatever the you wanna call it. Uh, again, I just got done building this. Yeah, it's just a three stack of pens. There were drop pens but I turned them into pens that I could use. Here you go. You can see the, how the pen looks with the birds lined up inside. Got the black OEGB there. We'll come down. Got the opal OEGB. Say hello, buddy. Say hello. All right, just got back not too long ago. Got some, some more birds right here. These are freaking gonna be Cigar Hunt Clarets mixed with yellow like hatches, 50-50. And then I got some dumb yellow like hatches over here. Just got them today. Literally just got home on live on Instagram talking to one of the homies who raises birds as well. But yeah, these are uh, Cigar Hunt uh, Clarets over yellow leg hats. They're about a month old. Our hen, our yellow like hat hen. She's doing good. Got her babies chilling. Checking up right on. They got water. We have to refill that today. And these guys are set. New little pen we built again. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Facebook, at Lopi Bantam, or Maddie X Ice, you definitely see me build this. Also on TikTok. TikTok, I built this thing actually live, this whole thing. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Uh, again, this wood is not going to last a while. Uh, it's just a temporary coop for now. Um, I will be upgrading it or updating it later, but same kind of a design. It's a little, you know, better. This is just laying around wood. I just may do what I have. Yeah, I use the regular sticks so that way they're just a little more comfortable. You know what I mean? But they're all different woods. So they're just different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Different but too low energy to give it meaning. But when she leaves, I'm in my head because I've been feeling. So look me in my eyes just this one time. I want to know if you've been bad for me the whole time. It doesn't come for me to know I'm on the wrong side. But if you come for me, I end up on the all right, guys, the ranch is still a mess. We are just uh, still like uh, moving stuff around, just adjusting to the summertime. Uh, I gotta realign these because, again, if you guys saw, I just reorganizing all the birds. As you can see, these ones are spaced out. That's how we had it before. Uh, we're actually gonna keep it like that, kind of spaced out between. We did run out of dividers, like the wooden dividers that we're using, and we made. Um, and then we're gonna start spacing there and then lining up with this line that y'all see. Kind of how you make a straight line with cages. It's better than eyeballing it. Yeah, the dividers just seem to be working fine. All the birds are okay. Again, we did this side as well. Again, just got to do a little more adjusting. Got to move some cages down. I kind of slide everything over. It's just like a, a minor adjustment. Again, this is all game foul on this side of the ranch. And then if you go towards the middle, uh, you'll reach the bantams and then the baby chicks. Again, these are just mostly our game foul. We also have like a little place for our chicks and we put that in front of our fly pen. Uh, nothing too crazy. Again, we're still doing a lot of adjusting. This is not, this is kind of, I guess, a mini tour. Again, just doing a lot of adjusting. Everything is kind of messy right now. You can see we had like a little tornado or like dust devil come through and kind of just like throw everything around the yard that's why you see feathers again everywhere yeah again we rake like every day always try to maintain our yard always try to sweep and clean again this is where our bantams are and then this is the cage that we just finished up got our doms in there game foul you kind of see got this little door here a little roof a little roof you know, nothing too crazy. Again, this is just like a little grow out pen for the birds that are small like that. Uh, again, these are game foul. Doms, you can kind of see them. These are going to be dad's birds. I do have some doms myself, but they're going to be yellow leg hatch doms. This is going to be my silver quell in here. I guess like my bantam area, you can see. It's like a little hallway going over there. Again, got to do a lot of cleaning and a lot of adjusting to this new setup that we're about to adjust to. Put my little hen right here. It's like a little grow out pen as well for my chicks. These are Puerto Rican kikarikis. Got some white uh, bearded uh, dragon. 
dragons. I uh, got like BB Red, Kikariki. Like, I don't know how they're gonna look again. I'm colorblind, so it's kind of hard with all these like colors like this. Um, with black and white, you can see it very clear, but colors is kind of hard to tell. I got to ask for help. This one, I gotta get him used to it. Let him know that I'm friendly. I'm friendly, bud. I'm friendly, bud. He kind of a shy guy, but it's all good. Again, y'all, I'm just adding these cages to the divider side. I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to get the ranch nice and neat. There's always something to do with raising chickens. That's why I enjoy it. There's always something to do with chickens. I've always got to change and adapt them so little by little. I got to move all these to line up with that. Feathers. In this car, I usually have like extra bowls, trash can, and um, some other BS. And then tools and stuff that I just pick up around the yard. Uh, I usually use this cart to collect stuff and whatnot. Alright, y'all. Pretty much got this stuff done. I don't know if you can tell. You can barely tell that I shifted it. Again, I just was moving all of it over to line up with that side. And if you guys have been tracking the videos, you guys are kind of familiar with how everything's kind of set up. Again, this is just our smoker that my dad made. Where we smoke meat, like deer and stuff like that. We're probably going to add another row here. Probably up to like right here. I don't know. We'll see. Again, we've got a lot more space since we push it down a little bit. Probably like two or three feet like towards that, the back. And yeah, it's a little tedious, but again, still got to do a lot to the yard every day. There's always something new to do. Just got to stay positive. Just got to get up and do the work. Again, raising chickens is teaching me how to be more disciplined and stuff like that. You know, I grew up military, but I grew up really on the internet. My dad was deployed often and I stayed home a lot and played video games. Again, I sold up my $2,000 like PC to buy all my birds. I'm new to breeding and I just enjoy because again it's just something to look forward to waking up something to care for and again it's different from raising a dog again appreciate everyone uh, like you know tuning in and, and uh you know supporting the channel i really do appreciate it working on getting some t-shirts made i uh, ran into some errors though so um gotta do a lot in a little man but yeah guys it's the next day i finished moving everything besides these last four you can kind of see how much i moved it this was like the before distance and then this is like the after distance you can kind of see it's like a foot all right so we're back to where we originally started got this white hand separated from the corner i actually gotta sweep all this stuff up to make it nice and clean and then i have to find a way to catch all these guys they keep going in the back of this fence and they can go cut in between the fence so it's kind of paying the best to catch them. I just have the mom right there, so that way they can kind of come to her more in the open. So dad and I are cleaning the bowls, getting some algae out of the bowls, the water bowls, the feeders, and stuff like that. And just going around, scrubbing them down with soap, uh, with our drill bit, uh, with the sponge on it. Um, and I'm just washing them out and refilling the water. I see the sun and you just like the morning glories. And I don't want to stay away, it's like a warning story. If I got a little closer, would you let me leave? I still feel you when you're gone, it's like I'm here.